guys, Miss Anel here, and welcome back to an episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we got quite a few figurines from Nam Kabanda Isle, and we got rich! 807,000 gold, yes! Now it's time to go and spend most of that, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and go into the fountain of something. I didn't read that last word, but Yumanju, the hot spring place. The very, very pleasant place where we always go and blow all of our money. And speaking of blowing our money, I actually made a mistake. You see these? Yeah, I got one um, statue from this. There's actually three in here, so I kind of screwed that up a little bit. So I need to keep on doing this until I get the other two. And it costs 500 gold each, so I'm probably going to blow a lot of money on this. Goodbye, my money! And we've obtained J statue, which is very nice indeed. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, the Statue of Justice, the story of a child of, a, of God who saved the world from disaster. Very nice. Okay, now one more. Come on, give it to me. That's not giving it to me. And now we have H statue. Very nice again. Okay, that actually didn't take too long. It blew like... 20,000 gold, but oh well, gold, gold, excuse me. A statue of Helmet, the story of one who fought a dragon with to save a princess. Hmm. Okay, sounds like a very standard story right there. And the guy is in here, so I guess we have to leave Yumanjo and come back, so I'll be right back. And here we go! Now that we have all the statues, this guy reappeared. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, that look on your face. Could it be? Yes, sir, I single-handedly managed to collect the entire series! What do you mean, single-handedly? Dude, we spent so much time getting those stupid statues. Please let me see them! And here we go. Fantastic! Simply fantastic! You really have all 11 of them! Oh, I can't wait! I really can't wait! I can't wait to decorate my room with them! I'm glad that you're so happy, so this means our job is done, right? Oh, sorry about that. I got a little carried away. No kidding! No, not at all. I know how you feel. Now for your reward. Hmm, what would be appropriate? Um... Gold, perhaps? Or maybe an item? Maybe another toy might do, do the trick? Um, excuse me. What's the matter, Estelle? Why are you yelling? Do you think you might be able to give us back that CL... Thank you! Estelle is not a jerk! Well, what are you talking about, Estelle? He asked for the whole set of eleven. An incomplete set is a is worthless to a collector. I know that. It's just we can't give him that one doll. Oh, this is about Hanks, right? That doll is his memento of his wife. It's very important to him. But didn't he give it to you, Estelle? But it's still his. We have to give it back to him. Oh, great puppy eyes. She's given the pities, the pity speech. But still, you gave me that doll as a part of the job I asked you to do. Oh, he took it back! Hold on, what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry, all these, all of these are fakes. Y Yuri, what are you talking about? I was thinking I'd get the reward by handing over a bunch of fakes. But it looked like Estelle was about to spill the beans, so I stole them all back. You stole them back? So I'm sorry, it looks like the job was a failure. What the? Are you trying to make me look like a fool? I can't believe this! I actually feel kind of bad for that guy. It looks like we missed out on the reward. After all that work, all we got was a single tiara. Yuri, thank you! That's the only valuable thing Hanks ever ha has ever had. I couldn't let you give it away. Besides, this thing's gotta be a fake, right? If anyone found out, it would soil the good name of Ra Brave Vesperia. What a load of bull! Good thing that guy was too dense to recognize bad acting when he saw it. Why didn't we just actually make a fake doll and give it to him? Wow, Judith! You're even worse than Yuri! Yuri earned the Recollection Guardian title! Okay, let's go ahead and see what that is. I doubt it actually gives him a, um, a costume of any sort, but still. Since we just got it, we can let him wear it, right? Right? Okay. So, there we have it. We're done with that side quest. But now... 
take my money. Welcome. Reserving a hot spring costs 600,000 gold. Will you be visiting the springs today? Yes. Take my money. The girls deserve to have a good time, too. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy your visit. Okay, we'll go in first. And there goes Raven sulking. Pout. Sure, sure, I'll just have a little nap while I'm waiting. Wake me up when the bath's free, would ya? With him asleep, we can relax. Alright, let's go. Man, I hope they hurry up. Yuri's asleep too. Jeez, this is really boring. Is he gonna go peek? Oh no, he got punched in the gut. <laughs> he knocked him out? Wow, desperate much. Th this place is... Shh, quiet boy, the ladies have already gone in. Wow, obvious much. This will be good for you, boy. You might learn a little bit about the world. Well, I guess if we're caught, that makes you my accomplice, don't it? <laughs> wow, poor Carol. Oh ho ho, legs! Come on, who cares about Rita? Judith, I want to see Judith! Raven! <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Lose your towel? Oh, it's just our, us girls here, Rita. Why would I need a towel? I guess you're right, but with you just letting it all hang out like that, I don't feel comfort- Wow! Okay. And look at Estelle. She's being struck speechless at your bold display. Oh, wow. He fainted. Yuri, we're out! We're so perfect in the little twerp. Innocently walking by. Oh, sorry. Raven wasn't feeling very well. Oh, are you alright? <laughs> well, this isn't, this isn't going to work. I guess I'll leave the hot springs for another time. What do you mean? We spent so much gold for you to say to leave it for another time? No! 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 No, you use that hot spring right now! Uh, okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> Letting it all hang out like that. Oh my god. That is so bad, but so funny. I'm sure you guys like that as well. I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> oh god. Okay, return the field map. So we spent 600,000 gold for Raven to get his jollies. Okay, so the next place that we need to go to is a little out of the ordinary. What we need to do is hop into Baul and head in this direction. Yeah, it's it's kind of really, really a, an obscure place. But if you guys will remember, back in Heliord, we had we could have either Judith, Estelle, or Carol seduce a guard. And Carol, since he was the one that we picked, was the only one to actually get a costume out of that. But later on, we could actually get a costume, but we could not get one of the items that we needed. And that we item can really be got gotten from this together. monster right here. And it is bizarre. It is really bizarre. Now let's go ahead and magic lens this. This is a gentle Mew. It's level 53, uh, not 300,000, that would be like a boss. 33,333 HP, and if you look at its head, obvious Tales of the Abyss reference is obvious. Look at that, that is the mascot of Tales of the Abyss. So, it actually makes an appearance in this game. So let's go ahead and get this started, and hopefully we can get a Chico fur out of one of these. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. Okay. There we go. Now, they're almost done, so let's just go ahead and beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. But yes, now we can actually get the Chigo fur that we need from these guys, because if you'll remember, I tried to come here, like, a few episodes ago, well, not a few, but like, several, several, several episodes no ago, but I couldn't get it because this lake was, um, yes, we got the Cheagle for that we need on the very first battle, sweet! But before we leave, I actually want to show something else about this place, I'm gonna go ahead and use a mat and explain what I was just gonna explain, um, this area was actually filled with water, 
But with the rise of Tarkaron, it actually drained this lake. And we, we can now actually come over here. Now this is a gentleman. Uh, this gentleman is that? actually really, really similar to the gentle Mew. <laughs> But that's why you want to make sure that it's nighttime, because if it's daytime, you'll get this instead of the gentle Mew that you need. Okay, so we only needed one Cheagle first, so we're actually done here. I just wanted to show that, that this so guy easy. existed, and he's quite a bit bit weaker than the gentle Mew. Alright, so now back into Baul, and now what we want to do is head over to Heliord, which is right up there. But yeah, basically... Now we can actually get those costumes that I wanted to get so long ago. I actually think I actually really like Judith's one from that side quest. Not side quest, but little event. Can't exactly remember what it looked like, but I think she had like a cat hat on or something like that. Anyway, Heliord! Let's go, let's go! Oh, we're popping in on this side? Okay. This is actually really convenient because this is the side that we need to be on. Let's go into the inn and shop. And come over here and talk to this dude. Sexy Typhoon, mama! It's a sexy typhoon. I still learned the enchanting bell title! Okay, so. Let's go ahead and do that again. Oh my, thank you very much. Here you go. D duty, baby. Th this is against the rules. Hi, old man. He fainted again! That's the third time he's fainted in this episode. Rules. Judith earned this sultry tempest title. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at those. And just to say, the specific items that you needed for each of these costumes were two spirit fragments and three cockatrice claws. We obviously had both of those, and we also needed one cheagle fur for each. So we're, we are now done with that. Yeah, never mind. She doesn't have a cat hat on. I, for some reason, I thought she had a cat hat on. Maybe I'm thinking of Rita's uh, waitress title. Eh, it's okay. It, it's interesting. I'll say that much. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and make her the not the guardian of truth. Um, okay. I don't remember her actually having this. Huh. Maybe I didn't actually show that before. No, we're not glamorous late. She has too many costumes! There, thank you. Now for her, Enchanting Belle. She is so skinny. She looks so much skinnier than her normal costume. I mean, look at that. She's a twig! My god, dude. Anyway. Uh, worldly Adventurer. Okay. That's good enough. Now we're done with Heliord. I just wanted to go and get those costumes, now that I was able to. And I think we're actually almost done. There's just one last thing that I want to check that I actually can't even do right now. What we need to do, or what we would do if we actually met the requirements, which I do not, is go to Nordopolica. Nordopolica has something for cooking that we could actually do there, but I want to point out where the NPC is if I can. I don't know if he's actually there. So, to Nordopolica! We're coming up on it really quick there. There it is off in the distance. Now, I really wish it were daytime, because daytime is easier to see, for obvious reasons. Anyway, the Coliseum City, Nordopolica. Now again, I'm not really sure if he's actually here. Uh, from the look of it, it looks like he's actually not. No, okay. Well, just to explain really quick, Nordopolica, if you have... Wait a second, Do, does it need to be daytime? Because this guy isn't, like, up and about. Anyway, I guess I'll go and turn it to daytime while I'm explaining this. But in Nordopolica, if you have all of the recipes except for one specific one, then Wonder Chef will be there, and you can talk to him for that very final recipe. Uh, let's go ahead and use a mat. Turn it to daytime, please. But anyway, the Wonder Chef will give you Mabo Curry, or Mabo Curry, I, I don't know. And it is still nighttime! Dang it! Okay, let me kill you so I can actually have it be daytime. Okay, it's finally daytime! Jeez, I took like several battles. Anyway, as I was saying, um, Mabo Curry requires rice, onion, tomato, flour, and tofu. 
and what it does is it restores 25% of your max TP and HP. So it is actually very useful. It's a much, much better version of a sandwich. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't see him. I don't see the Wonder Chef. So yeah, we do not have all of the recipes. Maybe I'll get it later and show that later, later, because um, if you have all of the recipes, then you can take part in a cooking battle in Dongrest. Which we obviously can't do right now since we can't get um, the Wonder Chef and yada yada yada. Anyway, so we're missing out on that for now. I might show that a little later, I'm not sure. But for now, we're, we're pretty much done because I don't feel like getting all those recipes. <laughs> anyway, another thing that we can do in Nordopolico right now is the Colosseum Battles. But the Colosseum Battles, as you might imagine, would take up a lot of time. There's a 100-man fight and a 200-man fight, and it goes on and on and on and on, and there's actually some pretty special stuff that happens if you complete those. But, yeah, that's gonna take a long time, and I've already taken up too much time on these stupid side quests. So, I'll push that for later. I think what I'll do is I'll make bonus videos after the series is done of the Colosseum. So, I will not be skipping over because, like I said, there's some special stuff that happens if you do the... if you take advantage of the letter of challenges that we got before. So, that's something to keep in mind that I will get to it eventually. So, but just not right now. Not as a part of the main series. But I'll do it eventually, sometime after this series is done, and I feel like tackling a 100-man fight. And quite frankly, I want to be a higher level for that anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so, but anyway, now that I'm done explaining all of that, I think I'm going to cut this episode here, and in the next episode, we will be continuing on with the storyline at long last. So I will see you guys next time. Masena out. Did you follow the recipe? There are ingredients in this food that really shouldn't be in it. Actually, I haven't seen our recipe book around recently. Yeah, I wonder where it went. Recipe book? Is this it by any chance? Rita, you had it? No wonder it seems so flimsy and weak. You were using it as a weapon? Someone replaced my book with this thing. It's not my fault nobody noticed the recipes were gone. Well, I can't argue with you there. We don't have very many recipes either. Maybe we should have some more interest in cooking. Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. That last battle went by in the blink of an eye. You guys are merciless. Hit before the enemy has a chance to. The only certain victory is a preemptive one. We can't show our enemies any mercy. Well, if we take it too easy, then we're just playing with them. Makes me feel sort of bad for him, you know? But still, I think a little bit of mercy would have been okay, just to be fair. You're probably the most cold-blooded, merciless killer of us all, Judith Darlin. Oh? You really think that? Looks like she doesn't even realize it. I think she's just pretending not to. 